Hello, and it's great to be talking to you from the foot of Beeston Hill. This is the scene here at Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Leeds United against Leicester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the lineup for Leicester City. Harry Winks plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room and operating through the middle in attack, Jamie Vardy. Well, no stopping him. Takes it on and a fine stop. Playing it in. Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who could do better than that? Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Right, time for us to get a scoring update from the Stoke City Stadium. That means we join Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Swansea City. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Fine build-up as they look to add to their advantage. Vardy. And it's Winks. Oh, great defending. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Jaden Anthony. the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one well it's another chance for him as you said he looks so hungry for goals today can someone get on the end of this oh he saved it well clears it away and they need to get tighter Superb stop. <laughs> so the corner played into the box. Well, it still could be dangerous. Right, somebody has scored at the Stadium of Light. Let's get full details from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. It's now 1-0 with 31 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. Can he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Winks. Harry Souter. Ndidi 
Ricardo Pereira. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Their only problem in the second half could be complacency, but I can't see that happening. Oh, it's an own goal! A moment he would love to be able to forget. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. And the referee's whistle. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Yorkshire. And they kick off. And back underway. Leicester looking to find a route back into this one. Chance to cross. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Well, the speculation has been out there for a while now, but if the rumours are to be believed, Inter could be on the verge of getting their man, Stuart. Well, apparently they've now made an official bid for him, so we should know pretty soon where his future lies. Well, a change to the scoreline I'm hearing in the Southampton game, and Alex Scott has the details. It's another for Southampton. They're pulled ahead by two with 53 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Vardy could be threatening. Failure to keep the ball by Leicester. And that's an important intervention. Thank you. Well, the championship is such a competitive division, and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Leeds United facing Sheffield Wednesday. Can he finish? Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And a chance for the lead. And try to whack it towards goal, but the post getting in the way. Well, he did everything right, didn't he? So unlucky. That could have gone in off the post. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Southampton, but it was... Can he finish? And what a magical save it was! There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Pascal Strauch. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. The emphasis very much on attack. Shackleton. Well, nothing productive, really. Now, counter attacking possibilities. Not a 
the stoppage time situation. Two minutes the word. Can they forge ahead? Superb chance. Oh, it's astonishing. One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that... And that is going to be all for this game. Well, far from ideal from a Leeds United perspective. Three points dropped. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello from a part of the country where passion for the game is very real. We're here at Ellen Grove. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Leeds United and they take on Sheffield Wednesday. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Barry Bannon. Malik Wilkes. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Well, for Leeds United, well, it's all about an improvement. I say that because they lost in the last game against Leicester City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, there was much to admire about their play. Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. There it is! The first goal in the derby. A special moment. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. 1-0 then. Liam Palmer. Bannon. George Byers. Byers. Barry Bannon with it. Michael Ahikwe. George Byers. Famewo. Palmer with it. Michael Ahikwe. George Byers. Byers and on to Musaba and a passing sequence that's easy on the eye 
Oh, a vital interception. Joe Gelhardt. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Malik Wilkes. Barry Bannon with it. Akin Famewo. So getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. So back underway here, into the second half. And the ball back with Leeds here. Might be able to get in behind the defence. No possibilities inside the box. Well, that's a fine-looking pass. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Determined defending. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Well, I couldn't quite find his teammate. Anthony Musaba. Johnson in possession. Well, there's a textbook example of how to press the ball. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier, and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Well, certainly, and here they are, passing the ball around once more. Timely intervention. No chance, perhaps. That was going in. And a change to the scoreline in the Southampton game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a second goal for Middlesbrough. They're ahead by two now with 68 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And meet the rest of the party at the ticket office. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Sheffield Wednesday facing Preston North End. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Buckley, what a magnificent pass. He's in control of the situation. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Bannon. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Barry Bannon. So the final whistle has sounded, and it is a Leeds United success story in the end. How would you sum this up? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably... Just show me the money, just show me the money.